Okay, here's a quick tip. We're in X14 beta and we're this is a user requested video, but it's a quick tip about linking callouts that are linked to views. Linking those callouts that are linked to views, linking them to a note, and then having that note report to a schedule and being able to reorder your callout labels based on that that are sent to layout. Boy, that's that's even difficult. I don't even have a script. That's so difficult to even say. So let's just dive in. I'm going to be in plan view here on the right hand side, and I'm just going to start with dropping in a note. And that note is going to say that it's a typical wall detail because that's what I want to you know specify this for. So typical wall detail. There we go. And you see it shows up here in my plan keynotes. And I'm actually going to make a copy of this just so we see what exactly is happening here. And I need to change the name. So this is going to be something else. OK, so we have two notes named differently. You can see it in our floor plan keynotes. Of course, I would call this you know detail plan schedule or something like that. Uh, so now I want to drop in a call out. And the call out is going to be specifically written to utilize a, a global macro. So I'm going to create a macro that is uh, our dollar sign. And we're going to just call this macro tip wall. And that's going to equal the simple schedule. Let's see if I can spell this right. Number. If you don't spell it right, you're in deep trouble. It's not going to work. So simple schedule number and then the last part of this is I need to click on this call out and link it excuse me reference it to this note now you can see here it's pulling that notes simple schedule number now you can get more advanced than this but for the purpose of this video that's what I'm doing because it's already kind of complicated right so what we're doing is we're taking the simple schedule number of this note and having it report to a global macro titled tip wall. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to take this call out and I want to link it to my detail. I'm going to link it to that typical detail, typical wall. Okay. Now we're not in my detail, typical wall. We're just in plan view here. It didn't really matter that I'm, I'm in this because there's another purpose to this whole thing. I'm going to open up my project browser. I'm going to open up my detail, typical wall. And here we go, I want to send this to layout. Entire plan, eh, current screen's fine. There we go. So here we are. And this is labeled appropriately, right? Detail typical wall. We see that part, but we're missing that call out. So let me open this up. And in our label panel, I'm going to use that in the label options section under the use call out um, radio button. In our call out label, I'm going to put that macro that I created tip wall and then I'll adjust my uh, line style to be that default line style and then the call out itself will be a circle there we go so now you can see here this is my detail sent to view and if we close this detail out we're going to see if we get in on this side and reorder my note schedule you're going to see look it changed here number two now we've got a number two over here. You can see it's dynamically changing as I reorder the schedule so that if we create, you know, some more notes and we change them to something else, same thing, we can just reorder these on the fly and be able to have kind of a dynamic labeling system for our details. I'm sure there's going to be some questions about this. I know it's a little bit complicated. Anyways, drop some comments in. If you found this on Chief Talk or Facebook, Feel free to tag me, drop some comments in, ask some questions.